20 weird ancient beauty secrets and tricks. From bird dew facials to cabbage bandages, check out these strange ancient beauty hacks and secrets to never try at home. Thankfully, we now have the benefit of product safety testing, so stick to the department store stuff. Thanks for checking us out. If you're new to the channel, please hit that red subscribe button and ring that notification bell to see more Fact Queen videos. Number 20. Geisha Facial Believe it or not, a nightingale bird's droppings from a Japanese bush warbler is the primary ingredient for this ancient beauty secret. Japanese women are most noted for the bird excrement use, also known as the geisha facial. Japanese theater actresses of the 17th century, famous for their bright white face makeup, started using nightingale feces to paint their faces instead of harsh chemical-laden makeup products that would aggravate their skin. It turns out this bizarre beauty hack pulled double duty in terms of benefits. The graceful actress quickly noticed a remarkable improvement in their skin texture after switching to the new concoction. According to the Business Insider, a Now Magazine source shared that Hollywood royalty Tom Cruise, among others, happily slather on the face creams touting their exfoliating and moisturizing benefits. Number 19. Royal Jelly According to the Power of Positivity website article, one ancient beauty treatment included gathering royal jelly from bees. Bees produce the gel-like goo to feed the queen bee, but not the fact queen bee. Some skin treatments contain the jelly, helping with dark eye circles and wrinkle reduction. Number 18. Happy Hour Highlights Ale, the brewski beverages of yesteryear, did double duty as hair dye. Ancient times called for clever hair hacks. To achieve the sun-kissed highlights many people still strive for, women would drench their hair in the frothy libation, then expose their locks to sunlight for an hour. The end result was golden, silky hair that would turn heads. Or did the beer flavor just make men thirsty? Either way, it was a natural, inexpensive method of highlighting one's hair. Number 17. Bug Lipstick Way before branded cosmetics took over every makeup and bathroom counter around the globe, women cleverly concocted mixtures and methods to create ruby red lips that shone like gemstones. What's the difference between women now and ancient women who wanted alluring red lips? Well, the beauties from the 15th century crushed up small red bugs to mix up the deep red lip color. According to ancient origins from Cleopatra's era to Queen Elizabeth I, women used bug juice to rubify their lips. That takes the term natural ingredients to a whole new level. That reminds me, time to visit the department store cosmetic counter. Number 16. Radium Risks In the early 1900s, before the dangerous side effects were known, radium-laden cosmetics were produced. The radioisotopes are overactive with nuclear energy, not something people should have anywhere near their bodies. Thorium chloride and radium chloride were among the ingredients. No amount of skin firming, revitalizing, soothing, and bright Lightning is worth that glow. Number 15. Donkey Milk Bath Cleopatra was known for her obsession with flawless beauty and skincare rituals. She used to take donkey milk baths every day to preserve her stunning beauty. Her skincare routine included crocodile dew and donkey milk face masks and body wash to prevent and remove wrinkles and age spots. Donkey's milk possesses natural anti-aging properties and is rich in alpha-hydroxy acids, which work as natural defoliators. Its restorative effects also soothe inflammatory skin conditions like eczema and psoriasis. Number 14. Fish Foot The Turks have long been associated with using the doctor fish, Gara Rufa, a toothless carp for pedicures. The carnivorous fish eats dead skin and scales when food is scarce. The 400-year-old practice became famous in Japan, the UK, Croatia, and some parts of Asia in the 2000s. Immerse your footsies into a pool filled with flesh-eating fish and relax. The fish pedicure was used to get rid of all the dead skin, revealing smooth and soft skin underneath. Number 13. Heavy Metal Coal As we know, perfectly painted cat eyes symbolized beauty as well as social class in ancient Egyptian culture for both men and women. But according to an article in Discover magazine, coal mixtures were masterfully created to not only create a gorgeous look, but also to protect the eyes and skin from disease and harsh environmental conditions. Coal used to be made by crushing a lead sulfide called galena. The less toxic version was made of carbon or iron iron oxides. We know lead can be harmful, but Egyptian coal manufacturers would process the ingredients for up to 30 days before creating the final product. The filtration process left a minimal amount of lead behind, making the coal safe for use. Number 12. Pale Skin 
Pale skin had become the most sought-after beauty trend during the regime of Queen Elizabeth I. The queen had scars after suffering from smallpox in her childhood and used to slather on a lot of white makeup to cover them up. The pale look became an emblem of elegance and royalty. Women would try different methods to achieve pale-looking skin. Some of them used to apply crocodile dung in dried form, while others would attach leeches to their ears to suck blood from their skin and make their faces look paler. Number 11. Golden Mane Lion Urine for Highlights Gross. It seems our obsession with gleaming golden locks streams back for centuries. Ladies from ancient Venice were also engrossed with blonde highlights. To achieve this look, the yellow animal fluid was smeared on their hair, followed by a sun bath. The process yielded gorgeous and glossy blonde hair. I wonder how they chose the unlikely person to collect the specimens. Number 10. Lip and Cheek Tint Centuries prior to the cosmetic industry revolution, people were creatively transforming their appearances and enhancing their beauty. Mesopotamian women invented lip colors using beeswax and crushed red gems. Romans in 340 BC used a mixture of ground rose petals and crocodile do as a cheek blush. Egyptians used to create lip and cheek tints from red ochre. The formula was basically a mixture of finely ground red ochre and water. The mixture was then applied with the help of a brush to add some color to the face. Number 9. Crocodile Dung Bath Crocodile dung was used as the main ingredient of mud baths by the ancient Greeks and Romans in 20 BC. The bath was considered to provide anti-aging benefits for a youthful appearance. This practice wasn't limited to the Greeks and Romans. Even Egyptians were fascinated by this anti-aging ingredient. Crocodile waste was used as a facial mask to achieve firm and smooth skin. I think I'll stick to the drugstore stuff, thank you. Number 8. Almond Brows It seems the quest for beauty is timeless. Eyebrows have long been a significant part of defining and enhancing one's facial features. Egyptian women were trendsetters when it came to creating different makeup looks, and eyebrows were no exception. Thick, dark eyebrows were in fashion during Egyptian times, according to an article in worldhistory.us. Commonly used to color and fill in eyebrows was a mineral and burnt almond mixture. Number 7. Dead Sea Salts It's common to see a range of products containing dead sea salts in beauty aisles. The trend of adding sea salts to bathtubs isn't new at all. It dates back to the time of ancient Greeks and Cleopatra. Then people exfoliated dry, dead skin with a scrub made of sea salt and olive oil. The therapeutic properties of sea salt were harnessed to soothe sunburns, inflammation, and irritation. The soothing sea salt bath was also a common approach to detoxify and calm the body. Today, Epsom salt baths are used to calm and relax tense muscles. Number 6. Cabbage Bra Share this cabbage tip with new moms. Treat any soreness, itch, and pain with this effective ancient remedy. Cabbage leaves have been used as a natural remedy by women for centuries. Cabbage is filled with anti-inflammatory and pain-relieving properties, which provide instant relief when applied directly to the affected area. Just line your bra with cabbage leaves. It's a cheap, easy healing hack. Number 5. Apple Cider Acne Apple cider vinegar is one of the most commonly used ingredients during ancient Greek times. Other than its incredible health benefits, it was also used for a number of skin care concerns. Apple cider vinegar was often used as a skin toner treatment by people having acne breakouts. It balances the skin's pH level. It also has the natural ability to remove dead skin, build up grime and oil from the pores, which helps to clear oily and acne-prone skin. Number 4. Harsh Hair Removal The desire for hairless, silky smooth body parts isn't a new thing. While we have access to countless products and procedures that help get rid of unwanted hair, things weren't so simple for the women of yesteryear. During the Elizabethan era, women would prepare a depilatory lotion with arsenic and quick lime to remove excess body hair. Some other methods involved using abrasive sandpapers and pumice stones to rub the hair off. Imagine the discomfort endured by Renaissance women and beyond in their quest for beauty. Number 3. Styling Lard Hair styling has been in practice for centuries, but in the absence of countless available styling gels, serums, and sprays, people had to improvise. In the 1800s, rich women in England and many other West Western countries used to apply lard to their wigs for a classy and luxurious look. The wigs were attached to real hair, so women had to leave them on for days or weeks. What was the downside to having shiny locks during the day? They had to sleep with cages over their heads at night. If you must know, it was to keep rats away, of course. Number 2. Camel Straight Hair Ancient times called for ancient methods to enhance beauty. Arab queens, obsessed with having smooth, silky, and straight tresses, called on camels for help. Camel your 
Thorin was a customary staple in the hair care routine of Arabic queens in 40 to 30 BC, apparently to give the hair a sleek and bone straight look. Other than beautifying their hair, it was also used to give a reddish shade to the hair. Yuck. Number 1. Eureka Tooth Whitener The timeless quest for dazzling smile and fresh breath is why people have tried just about anything to achieve them. For starters, noted on AncientTimes.com, Romans used to brush their teeth and gargle with a certain yellow bodily fluid. Apparently, the Portuguese type was most popular for containing more ammonia. Its extreme popularity led to heavy taxation of the imported product. Wow, I think I'll pass. Please hit like, click subscribe, and comment below if you'd like to help us grow and bring you more Fact Queen content. Thanks for watching!